Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And today I'm going to do a he and she reading for December 3rd, 2019. Okay, this is a he she reading for December 3rd, 2019. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video if it resonates. Um, please make comments if it resonates because, you know, I like that and I'll know whether or not it resonates, right? <laughs> um, also, to my subscribers, welcome back and to any new subscribers, welcome to my channel. So with that being said, I'm going to get started. This is for the he side and this is for the she side. Okay, I do have clarification cards for he and I have clarification cards for she. All right. <clears throat> At the end of the video, I also will be pulling a card um, from Buddha Wisdom Shakti Power, one for he and one for she. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, and let's get started with he. Tell us about him for December 3rd, 2019, for the he and she reading. December 3rd, 2019, for the he and she reading. <clears throat> um, I'm going to shuffle one more time, and I'm going to get pull out a um, energy card for his card. Of the okay, so for his side of the reading, for the energy we have. Seven of Cups. So it appears that he um, he may have some options, or he's um, trying to decide on options on what he needs to do next. Okay, um, maybe he has to make a decision about something. He has a lot of ideas on how to do it. He um, he might be dealing with a lot of people, and he wants to know, uh, and he's deciding on how to deal with that also. <coughs> All right, so let's go ahead and find out what's going on with him, okay? What's going on with him for the history of reading for December 3rd, 2019? What's going on with him for the history of reading for December 3rd, 2019? Yeah, the Seven of Rods. So he may be having to defend himself uh, to others, to people around him. What else do you have for him? Or, okay. He seems to be having problems at night, problems sleeping. He's in his head about something, something that's really bothering him. What, do you else, what else do you have for him for this issue reading? Page of Pentacles in reverse. So he may be having some financial issues right now. Um, maybe he wanted to start something new. Um, but unfortunately, he hasn't been able to, and um, this is this may be one of the reasons why he is having difficulty sleeping at night because he might be trying to figure out with all these options how he he can come up with um, some finances to have a new start. Okay, <clears throat> let me put this card over here because I think we might need a little bit of room. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify and see um, what these cards mean right now, okay? Okay. Why is why is the seven of rods here for him for December third, twenty nineteen for the Hishi reading? Okay, we have the King of Cups. So he may be holding the energy of the King of Cups, somebody who's very passionate. Um, he's a, he can be a father, all right? Um, he's very passionate about what he does. He, whatever he wants, he really goes for it. 
because he has that drive, okay? Um, in regards to the Seven of Rods, um, he may be defending something that he is definitely passionate about, okay? Why else is this Seven of Rods here for him? Why else is this Seven of Rods here for him for the Hishu reading for December 3rd, 2019? We have the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles is usually usually feeling left out in the cold, okay? But this Five of Pentacles is also the Hierophant, okay? So he might be going within. He might be realizing something about himself, okay? He might be feeling... Um, he might be feeling a little spiritual, maybe. Um, he might be digging deep into his own self to figure things out. Um, yeah, he might be um, trying to figure out or, or go within um, spiritually, right? Um, because um, traditionally, uh, he was used to one way, but now he's, you know, kind of changing his mind about how things have been um, most likely in his life, okay? Um, he may be trying to defend his ideas, and maybe people might not be looking at him, you know? They might be looking at him sideways or something. Um, he's also uh, has been doing this because there has been some sort of deception, okay? aside from being left out in the cold. Let me get one more card for the Seven of Rods for him. The Kishi reading for December. Okay, so he may be having issues with a Queen of Pentacles, all right? And the Queen of Pentacles is a very grounded woman, all right? She's grounded. She could also be a mother. Um, you know, it's interesting because I've never noticed this before. This Queen of Pentacles has a flower in her forehead, kind of like in the area of the third eye. So this Queen of Pentacles may be very intuitive. She may be grounded. She also may be very spiritual. <clears throat> um, he is holding passion for this person, okay? And um, he feels left out in the cold from her and um, and others because of the Seven of Rods energy. Um, I think he's delving deep into his own spirituality, perhaps. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening, or what has maybe happened already. Why is this Nine of Swords here for him, for the Hishi reading for December 3rd, 2019? Okay, we have the world here. This is the Ace of Pentacles. And he may be thinking about how possibly he might have, you know, ruined things, ruined his world. You know, he's very upset. He feels that something is very negative in his life right now. Okay, he's not feeling very good. He's up late at night. He feels like his world is actually crumbling. Why else is this Nine of Swords here for the Hishi reading for him for December 3rd? The reason being, okay, we have four cards, but I'll take them. First of all, okay, we do have this Nine of Swords again but it seems to be in reverse. Okay, so maybe something has come to him. Maybe he has um, come to real realization over something, which has um, put this Nine of Swords upright energy and turned it into the Nine of Swords reversed. Okay, we have the Four of Wands here. He has come to the realization that somebody Possibly this Queen of Pentacles. Somebody is uh, somebody very important to him. And um, possibly a soulmate of some sort. Uh, but we also have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. 
So he might be wanting to work on something with this Queen of Pentacles, but unfortunately it hasn't happened or uh, he's having negative feelings about it even happening at all. Why is this Page of Pentacles here for the He She reading for him for December 3rd, 2019? Why is this uh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse for the He She reading for his side for December 3rd? Okay. All right, we have the King of Swords. Okay, he may be dealing with somebody um, and he, this person is a little defensive, okay? He may holding the, be holding this energy, but I kind of think that this might be someone else in his environment. Um, he wanted to have a new start perhaps with somebody, but I think somebody here is holding him back from doing that, okay? We also have the Knight of Swords. He's wanting to tell his truth about something to someone. Um, this is actually, he wants to tell his truth to the Queen of Pentacles because we see him looking at her directly. Okay. Yes. He is wanting to, he is the King of Cups. Okay, he is dealing with a king of swords. He is coming into his own spirituality and he sees the queen of pentacles as somebody very important in his life. Somebody that he may want to marry and he wants to send her a message. He's still a little bit worried on whether or not this this will happen because he feels that this is his world. There seems to be problems with finances and it could involve this king of swords and he's having to defend himself over his decision that he's made because maybe he had a lot of options but he's decided on one that there's only one option now, and that is the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> he wants to come towards her because maybe contacting her any other way is not the right way. Maybe he needs to, he wants to go towards her so um, he can speak to her personally. Or maybe he's going to send a message to her and ask her to come to him. Or he might contact her and tell her she, he's coming to her. Because this person is, is not moving back or towards us, but this person is moving away. So he's moving away from a situation, possibly also a situation that didn't work out. Okay, you guys seeing that okay? All right, I'm gonna leave those like that. We're gonna move on to her side. I'm going to shuffle the cards a couple times and then I'm going to pull an energy card for her side of the reading, okay? This is for her side of the reading. I'm going to pull an energy card for her for the 3rd, 2019. Just wanted to make sure they weren't upside down. <laughs> okay, this is her energy. The Knight of Cups. So perhaps she's expecting this person to come in with a message, a message of emotions some sort of emotions. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Her energy is the Knight of Cups.
tell us about her side of this story and the key she reading. What is her what is going on with her for December 3rd, 2019? What is going on with her? The Ten of Pentacles. So I do see her, if she's in the energy of the Knight of Cups, I think she's waiting or she's wanting to have a secure, grounded, and stable relationship with somebody, okay? Because we do have two people here. She's wanting to come together with somebody and become grounded and stable with that person. Um, what else do we have for her side of the reading for the December 3rd, 2019 for the Hishi reading? What else do you have for her for this story? Okay, these were in reverse actually. I'm not going to flip them back, okay? So she's worried that maybe that she's not going to get a passionate new beginning with somebody. And um, she's worried that somebody might be letting go. Or she might be letting go of this idea of having some sort of <clears throat> new beginning and financial security and stability. Because maybe she has not heard any messages. She has not. There's been no communication. Okay. Let's find out what these cards mean. What I mean, okay. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here for her side of the reading for the Hishi reading for December 3rd, 2019? Why is this Ten of Pentacles here for the Hishi reading for December 3rd, 2019? Why is this Ten of Pentacles here for her side of the reading? Okay. She's worried that she's not going to be able to have this beginning with somebody. She's in her head about it. She, uh, we do have the Four of Swords here. She has been trying to go within and think about things and try to, we have two fours, by the way. Uh, she's been trying to go within and try to see if perhaps she can come up with a solution or an answer to whatever's going on here. This is also the death card. So she's feeling that there has been an end to this situation, a death to this situation, this idea that she's had. Clarify this ten of pentacles for this, for she, uh, for the he, she reading, for her side of the reading. Please clarify this ten of pentacles. Please clarify this Ten of Pentacles for the Hishi reading. This is for her side for December 3rd, 2019. Please clear. Yeah. She also wanted a new beginning. But she's, you know, feeling like it's not going to happen. Um... Whatever it is that's, you know, there could be negative thoughts coming to her, making her believe that it's not going to happen. Um, these could be subconscious thoughts. There could be, um, I'm getting, I don't know where I'm getting this, but there could be negative thoughts coming to her, not caused by him, but by somebody else. Somebody in his environment, possibly, or somebody that she knows who is um, invoking these thoughts. making her think that it's not going to happen and that um, there's no future in this. Yeah, I feel like somebody is trying to get in her head about something. There's somebody who's trying to manifest something, I think. That's what I'm getting. 
that's what's coming to mind. Somebody who's invoking negative thoughts into her to make her think that this is not a possibility. Hmm. Why is this Ace of Rods in reverse, please? Why is this Ace of Rods in reverse for her side of the reading, for the Hishu reading? Why is this Ace of Rods here in reverse for the Hishu reading, for her side of the reading? Four of Cups. Because that Ace of Rods is in reverse, she's feeling that the offer is not going to come. There could be a Queen of... Um, she could be a Queen of um, Rods, actually. Or she could have fire in her chart, where this could involve a Queen of Rods. Actually, I think it is the Queen of Rods. It's a separate person. So there may be another person who's involved. She could be the Queen of Rods, and she could be the one who is causing these thoughts. Making her feel like this new beginning is not coming in. That she's not going to be getting any type of offer. <clears throat> Why else is this Ace of Rods in reverse? Maybe he should be reading for her side of the reading. For December 3rd, 2019. Why is this Ace of Rods? Why else is this Ace of Rods in reverse? Well, we got two cards. Um, first one is the King of Swords. This King of Swords may be also involved in trying to make this not happen. What is this other card? She's trying to make the... the somebody is trying to make her believe that this is too much of a burden, that it's not going to happen. And this could involve a Queen of Wands and a King of Swords. The Queen of Wands is not here on this side, but she's on this side. <laughs> okay, I think, okay, I'm getting that she is probably the Queen of Rods, but there is definitely somebody in the mix, somebody negative. This could be male or female energy. Um, Take it however it resonates. You could be holding the male energy and somebody could be holding the female energy if they're male. So just, you know, take it like that. Somebody is making her side of the story. Somebody is making this person think that things are not possible. Okay? That things are a, too much of a burden. No offers are going to come in, and that an end has come to the situation, and there will no, be no union or no um, future marriage or something like that. This person is getting involved, whoever this King of Swords is. There's one person getting involved in this situation. <coughs> Okay. Why is this? Hmm. We have the Hierophant again on this side. So She's probably feeling, or she is, somebody is trying to make her feel like, or wanting to her to forget about this situation. And she, too, is feeling left out in the cold. 
Let me get some more cards. Maybe I might be getting these people wrong, and then maybe I can put it together better. Let me get, um, why is this Four of Pentacles in reverse? Why is this Four of Pentacles in reverse, please? What is she reading? Is this for her side? For December 3rd, 2019. Why is this Four of Pentacles here? Okay. Yes, these are all negative cards on her side. Somebody is maybe putting ideas or doing some sort of something to make her believe that this is not possible, that this is not going to happen. But on his side, it appears that <clears throat> it will Somebody is trying to manifest her into thinking that this is not possible and to not wait for him any longer to possibly move on. Clarify this four pentacles for her side of the room, please. Yeah. Somebody is trying to put thoughts in her head that this is not possible with the King of Cups. Even though the King of Cups seems to be defending himself in a certain situation. We could be dealing with people who are trying to manifest negative things on her side from a distance. Sending negative energies to her. Because he's not accepting these um, negative ideas. He's going within and he is thinking about what he wants. Let me see if I can get one more card so I can even it out. Let me get one more card for her side of the reading for the Fishy reading under the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Why? Um, okay. Okay, this is the Six of Wands, which is the um, victory card, but it's in the reverse. And this is the Tower card. The Tower moment has come in. Give me two seconds to look at this over. Okay, I, I'm thinking because I have done this, this has happened before. This is the he, she reading, right? But I have a feeling that he may be holding the female energy and she may be in the male energy. Take it how it resonates, okay? Because She's healed. She is healed. And I think that he's beginning his healing. And it usually takes the male person a little bit longer to get in touch with his female energy. So I'm thinking... Just take it how it resonates. I'm going to still do it the same way, but on this side, this person is no more crying over anything, right? They are, this is a more positive side, although somebody is interfering. This person is here and this person is here. Okay? We have a female here, and we have a female here. We have two King of Cups. Okay, so there is a Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Wands involved here. Okay, on this side, because there's a Tower moment and somebody's not waiting for anything to happen, they're letting go of something. They're having negative feelings about starting out new, a passionate new beginning. They may be financially stable with somebody. 
Hmm, this is a little confusing to me. This side, there has been death. This side, there's been there's a tower moment. This side, there was some being up late at night, but now there is no more of that. And somebody is feeling positive about the future. But nothing has been done to work on this. Because this person on this side wants to have a new beginning. Somebody is involved, though. Somebody is involved here, too. The same person is involved in both sides, even though they may be in separation. This, bur this person is causing burdens on both sides, I feel. <laughs> this burden this person is causing burdens to both sides and causing causing issues on this side bringing negativity to this side of the reading so yeah for the he she reading i think this is his side just take it how it resonates, okay? But this person on this side is healing. And this person on this side is definitely in their head about negative thoughts. Somebody may be sending negative vibrations, negative energy towards her side, towards her. Making her feel that this is not possible, that everything's going wrong, that, you know, don't keep your hopes up, you know, um, it's over, um, or it's not over. This is in the reverse, so there's no actually no tower moment here, but there's been death to a situation. And this person on this side, she may be feeling like it might be a death to, the, to whatever it is he and she have. Perhaps a relationship. A relationship with the King of Cups. She may be feeling like it's over. Like there's no victory. But like I said, the tower is in reverse. So when it's like this, I'm feeling like somebody is playing with her mind, making her think things, making her think there's no union, no possibility that a death has come, which means that there's going to be no new beginning. Yeah, this is causing a big burden. Interesting, interesting. Somebody may be trying to manifest on her side negative thoughts to make her move on or to make her feel if this person does start to come towards her, that she is going to be negative towards him because of all these negative thoughts that she may be uh, coming up with because somebody is manifesting negativity on both sides. Go ahead and find out what's next. There definitely is one person involved here who is trying to manifest negativity on both sides. And neither of them may know this. They do now. What else do you have for his side of the reading for the Hishi reading for December 3rd, 2019? This is for his side. Justice. Somebody is going to have justice over here. He is going to have justice over the situation, over defending himself. He's going to have justice. What else do we have? 
This part of the story is done. This part of the story is done. So this person is not in their head anymore because they feel that they're going to have wish fulfillment. That their wishes are going to come true. Or whatever they were, he was manifesting, it's going to happen. Or it could mean that somebody is trying to deal with something negative. Like, you know, maybe dealing with addictions. Somebody may be drinking too much to try and forget things. And maybe that's why they're not having problems sleeping at night. Because, you know, when you get really wasted, especially with alcohol, you knock out. And this could cause, you know, you to be able to sleep the whole night because you're just knocked out. You know what I'm saying? So this could be the, the case right here. This person may be having justice over whatever it is he's talking about or whatever it is he's defending himself over. But he can't seem to get his money in order. He can't seem to get his money in order, and he feels like he can't fight for this because of the money situation. Because somebody may be, you know, messing with his pentacles, preventing him from getting money <clears throat> so he can move towards her, possibly. Let's find out. Why is this justice card here? He's going to still move towards her. He's still moving towards her. But he's in the hanged man mode right now, possibly because of the money. Doesn't have enough money to make the trip, maybe. He may feel that he has justice over the situation because now he may have come to, you know, realize what is right for him after sifting through all of these options. But he's stuck. He's in the hangman mode for the moment. Five of Cups. It's in the reverse. Hmm. So he's not crying over this right now because he might be going through some healing or something. But it did fall on this middle row on the Four of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So he's in the hangman mode because he... He's no longer crying over, you know, issues with this, right? Because he may be healing right now. He's having justice over whatever it is he's dealing with. But he also might be having issues because he wants to come to her um, with an offer. But he can't because of the fact that he doesn't have the funding to do it. And while he's going through this, he may be drinking to forget his woes and his problems, you know, such as, as alcoholics do. And he feels he can't fight right now because he might be sick or making himself sick by over drinking or drug abuse or something like that. And perhaps he may not have the pentacles to do the move, but somebody is keeping him this way which is preventing this move forward, preventing this offer coming in, possibly to this Queen of Wands, a passionate woman. And here is that King of Swords again. The King of Swords is trying to manifest something. This is not, this person does not belong in either side, but he's there. Who is that? Somebody's trying to manifest something between the two, something negative. Why is this Nine of Cups here? Why is this Nine of Cups here? The 
This is the star. He still has hope in the situation. He wants to make his money grow, but it's there's something standing in the way. Okay, this is me upright. The Ace of Swords. This person has hope. He still wants to go towards her because he wants to start fresh. He wants to tell her the truth about everything. One more card for this Nine of Cups, please, or two. And he will be able to, because the Justice card is here, he will be able to tell her whatever it is that he wants to tell her. And right now, at this present time, he's just trying to see how he can make the money to come towards her. He's working on, on his um, craft. Whatever it is that he's working on, he feels is going to bring him um, pentacles, which is going to allow him to fight for this. But right now, he can't. But he still keeps hope in this. And in order to deal with whatever he's dealing with now in his environment, he drinks a lot. He abuses drugs, possibly. He's doing things to forget about what he's dealing with at the moment in his waking life. If he's not with her, he's doing things to, you know, like alcoholics do. They drink a lot to forget their, their problems. But, you know, he's hurting himself more by doing that because he's messing with his own health. And somebody may be offering him these drinks and these drugs or whatever to um, make him forget. But what that's doing is it's only damaging his health and causing him to do things that he doesn't want to do, especially if it's alcohol and he becomes drunk and he doesn't know what, he, what he's doing. Possibly having sex, um, just doing drugs, being with multiple partners, just doing things that are very not, not very good for his health. When he's not doing that, he's okay. But when he is, who knows what he's doing? <clears throat> Why is this nine of, rock, nine of rocks here? Queen of Swords. There's another person involved on his side, a Queen of Swords. He may be either dealing with a Queen of Swords that he doesn't want to fight with anymore. He may be thinking that she holds this energy. He doesn't want to fight with her anymore. Or this could be somebody in his environment that he doesn't want to fight with and he doesn't want to have any kind of stability with her. Why else is this kind of box here in reverse? He's waiting for his ships to come in. He's waiting to gain the money to move towards somebody. Could be her. What else is this nine of rocks here? Five of swords. There's deception going on here on his side. Somebody's being sneaky on his side and on her side. Somebody's trying to make this person not able to come towards her. And somebody is trying to make her think negative thoughts. Definitely deception here. He seems to be trying to keep positive, though. 
because maybe he knows, maybe he knows that there's something going on here. Maybe he knows that people are being deceptive and sneaky. Maybe that's why that Nine of Cups is there in that club person, because he knows. He knows somebody is trying to be sneaky, and that's why this Justice card here is too, which is the Eight of Swords, feeling trapped. He's feeling trapped, but he he's having justice twice here because he knows about the sneaky behavior that's going on. He may have heard something. He may have went somewhere and find, found out about it. But I think she's in the dark about everything. There's no communication. And this is the wrong, <laughs> but there's a burden, you see? This is not the right deck, but we all saw that, right? There's still a burden. She's feeling burdened. Somebody is doing something on the side. The tower moment. The tower moment is coming through for, for her. There's the burden. Somehow she's thinking that all of this is a burden. And maybe she's bringing upon the tower moment upon herself. She's needing to make a choice on what... Oh! It goes like this. She's needing to make a choice or a decision on this situation. Whether or not she should hang on. <clears throat> Feels like she's carrying the weight of the world on her shoulders because she keeps thinking, is this new beginning going to start or not? And she's feeling it's burdensome, so she might be just bringing that tower moment upon that this whole situation herself. Not wanting to hold on, wanting to make a decision on whether to wait or not to wait. Tell us about this tower. Two cards here. Okay. We have the Hierophant in reverse and not feeling left out in the cold anymore. Maybe she is starting to catch on now. Maybe she's looking within. Actually, no, she's not looking within. She's not feeling left out in the cold. She's probably financially stable and and rooted and grounded with this Ten of Pentacles here, but I don't think she may have lost touch with her spirit guides perhaps, or she may not be using her intuition, and this is why she feels that all these negative things are happening. So somebody may definitely be trying to manifest negative thoughts to her to make her think that these things are not going to happen, devastating things are going on, and, you know, oh, woe is me, you know, it's never going to come around. But you know what? In reality, there is no death to this situation. And she may be bringing upon the tower moment on herself because somebody is trying to make her feel like this is a burden. I have a, the strangest feeling that somebody is trying to manifest negative thoughts on her side. But there is no death to the situation. The situation is not, she needs, what it is, is she's not going within and she's not trusting her intuition. Somebody is causing her to not go within. Is this tower card here? What else is this tower card here? We have the King of Wands. There could be somebody holding the King of Wands energy that's doing this. Somebody who also has 
somebody who has air in their chart and somebody who has fire in their chart. I don't like to say signs. I just, you know, because you can, we all, I have every sign in my chart. So it's really hard to tell who is who. Okay, so that's how I'm feeling right here, that there's people involved here, or there could be one in particular who has certain signs in their chart. I do know, I do feel like this person holds the energy of the King of Cups. Doesn't necessarily mean they are a water sign. It could be, but I'm also feeling that this person, um, this person is holding the energy of could be holding the energy of the Queen of Wands. Hmm. Let's keep going. Why is this Ten of Wands here? She's up at night. She's up at night worried about this. Yeah. So if this is a kind of a soulmate thing going on, don't we know right now at this present time that the feminine is healing and is doing very well with her healing? And that the masculine is going through his healing and he's slowly but surely coming along. Why is her side so negative now then? Why is she so worried now? Why is she not moving forward and doing the things that she does to make her life easier and to heal herself? It appears that somebody is getting involved on the side. Somebody is trying to definitely manifest negative feelings on her side. Most likely trying to manifest them on this side, but he is becoming in his power. He is receiving justice and understanding what he needs to do to move forward. He just can't right now because he's short on money. But on her side, definitely some negative feelings going on over here, yet she is supposed to be the healed one. Let's keep going. Can I just turn the wands here, please? This is the five of wands in reverse. Maybe no more fighting. Or maybe no, there's no more... Yeah, you know what? This card indicates normally, okay, this card is usually the Five of Wands, right? But it's in reverse. And the Five of Wands means not being stuck in your head, right? Okay, so if that's the case, then, you know, this is also the Devil card in reverse. Hmm. So she has... She has relieved herself from addictions and things, you know, of that sort, right? So she doesn't have any issues with being addicted to, like, drugs or alcohol or whatever. Maybe, you know, she might smoke cigarettes or she might be eating too much ice cream, whatever. You know, that's not something dramatic, you know, but this is in the reverse. So this is, this should indicate that she is doing okay and not in her head about something. But if she's not, why is that nine of swords right there? That's a, that's a card of being in your head, not being able to sleep. Somebody is definitely, I'm sorry, somebody's definitely trying to manifest nasty things for her side. Okay, this person may not even be in the environment. Okay, but somebody is trying to manifest nasty thoughts on her side, and they might be doing it at night when she sleeps. Because in the daytime, I think she's okay. I think she's okay with whatever's happening. So I have a feeling that somebody may be trying to get in her head at night while she sleeps. Well, you know, because maybe she gets up a lot during the night because she can't sleep because she's caught up in her thoughts. Or maybe thoughts are coming to her dreams because she's definitely not, does not hold any addictions. She's not, in, when she's in waking life, she's definitely not thinking negatively. So somebody is trying to dig in her subconscious 
to try and bring these negative feelings or negative, you know, ideas to her or making her feel negative but not know why. Mm, there's sneakiness going on here. There is definitely. What else do we have for this Ten of Wands? What else do we have for this Ten of Wands? It's possibly why I'm so confused here. We have the Eight of Cups, which is walking away. But this is also the Moon card. See, I told you guys, somebody is trying to mess with her. Oh my God, and I just got the chills. Somebody is trying to mess with her dreams trying to mess with her subconsciously so she feels negative about this whole entire situation. Oh my God, I have my legs I have goosebumps all over. So somebody is definitely trying to manifest bad thoughts to her. Yeah. See, this is confirmation for me. This is my, These are my spirit guides right here. You guys, okay, let me keep, keep going. Let me keep going. I have them put to the side, but I normally have them with me. I usually light a purple candle, and I ask for their assistance. Okay, do that before all the readings. I always ask for assistance, whether it's a white candle, never any dark candles. I don't do candle magic. All I do, if I light a candle, it's for positive energy, communication, stuff like that. I never do anything, oh, you know, evil on somebody for candle. No, I don't do that, okay, because I know the repercussions, okay? I only ask for assistance, and I only light for the reason of the color of the candle, just the basic reason of what the candle is, love, happiness, communication, things like that. You know, I don't wish anything bad on anybody, but somebody is doing something to her sleep, to her nights, Okay, which is causing her subconscious to think a certain particular way. Maybe they are manifesting her at night in her dreams to try to get her to make a decision to walk away and to let go of this situation. Very, very evil. If there is a cross watcher watching this and you are doing this, you can both trust and believe that the universe knows what you're doing and that you will be punished and karma will come to you if you're doing this. Just know this. I'm getting the goosebumps again. There you have it. Confirmation. These all came out in the reverse. What? The Six of Cups in the reverse? What? It's not a past person or it's not the lovers? Is that the lovers card? Let me just double check on that one. Let me double check. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yes, sir. That's the lover's card. This is the lover's in reverse. Ten of swords in reverse. So in her waking life, she's feeling like she's not feeling backstabbed anymore. So she wants to make a choice now, right? A choice with who? With him and who else? Possibly the other person who's manifesting this to not happen? <sighs> yes. Trying to make her feel like the other person, whoever this other person is, is, is not a burden? Is that what it... Let me get one more card, one more card. One more card for this Two of Swords in River. Or this Two of Swords. One more card for this two of swords. Who, could, who is, let me question this right. Who is trying to manifest all these sneaky thoughts for her side of the reading? Well, we have the king of, of um, cups here. So she has to make a choice between him and... A knight of wands, an air sign, water sign, an air sign. Hmm, that's not really coming together very well. That's very confusing. 
She's needing to make a choice to either give this up or stay with it. There seems to be the idea of not having a lover anymore. She's not feeling backstabbed anymore, though. She's not feeling burdened either about the King of Cups or about the message coming in. Okay, so that's different. But she's feeling like the lovers is. Why would she feel this way and have the lovers in reverse? Why would these things be lifted off her, like the backstabbing, the burden um, of, of the king and the, the king not coming in with a message? Why would she have that in reverse if all of this is good? Do you see what I'm saying now, you guys? Do you see that? Something is really going, something weird is going on. Like maybe somebody's trying, maybe the person who's trying to manifest these things doesn't really know what he's doing. And it's all like mixed up and he's just confusing the out of her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's confusing the fuck out of her because she doesn't, she's all confused. She's got like in her waking life, things seem okay. No burdens, no more backstabbing. She's thinking about the King of Cups. She's waiting for his message. But somebody is trying to like fuck with her head because, you know, it, even the devil is in reverse. The Five of Swords is in reverse. Yet she's up at night tripping out and that's a burden do you guys see what i'm saying somebody is doing some weird trippy stuff trying to make her think all kinds of craziness she's not able to use her intuition she feels like a tower moment has come in okay yet there's no death to the situation somebody maybe this king of wands right here somebody that she knows is mad and trying to manifest all this confusion to her. <laughs> this is so crazy, you guys. Really, really. So you know what? There's just evils on both sides. Okay? He's got to deal with his evil and somebody's doing messing with her. Okay? I do see him wanting to move forward and, and trying to do things. He just can't because he doesn't have the funding, right? But she's fine on the normal in waking life. In the 3D, she's fine. But it seems like in the 5D, there's a bunch of confusion going on. So somebody is doing something to bring this confusion. I'm going to do, gosh, this is a long reading, you guys. I'm going to do one more row. Just to, I'm just going to do one more row, but I'm not going to clarify. Hopefully I can find out what's going on with the situation, okay? Okay, because th this is craziness, okay? Okay, how am I going to ask this? Please tell me for this side of the reading. How is he doing? There's juggling. How is he doing in his Emperor Reverse? In his waking life, how is he doing? One more card, please. Two of Cups. Okay, I got this. He is juggling situations right now. Okay, he's juggling situations. He knows what he has to do, all right? He's fighting with people. He knows what he has to do to have justice, but he's juggling whatever's going on because he's trying not to, I don't think he's trying to tell anybody what he's planning. So he's juggling ideas, okay? He was up at night, but now he's feeling smug about this situation. Because I think that somebody's just keeping him in that smug, you know, nine of cups energy. Because it's not quite the ten of cups. Ten of cups is what we want. Nine of cups is like, mm, it might, it might not work. Okay? But somebody's keeping him in this, keep trying to keep him happy with the booze and the drugs. 
and putting him in a negative non-emperor mentality, right? Causing him to do things that the, emp the normal emperor would not do. So maybe in his waking life, he's like this. But when he's in this nine of cups and this ten, uh, this eight of, what is it, nine of swords <clears throat> energy, it's because he's all buzzed. He can't control himself when he's all buzzed. Nobody really can when they're drunk, right? Or on drugs or whatever. They're not in control of their own mental, you know, abilities. Yet he does want he does want to do these things, but he can't. He can't fight because he has no money. He can't fight and go fight for her love. He has no money to get to her. But he still loves her. Yeah, he's got evil working on his side. Let's see what what's evil is going on her side. <clears throat> Dang, what a trip. People are so evil. Just Can't you just leave people alone and let them, you know, heal? And But no, you know, you know, the, the universe brings these, these evils to us so we can learn from them and hopefully pull ourselves out of it. Because you know what? Like I've said in other readings, the end of the year is coming. We need to... We need to figure this shit out quick. Who is messing with her on her side of the reading? Reading oh, right away, huh? A King of Cups in reverse could be dealing with another, um, another person from the past, and also another person of the past. So there is another person from her side of the reading in the past, not this recent past person, this person, but somebody else. There is somebody else in her, not in, it might not even be in her environment, maybe a distance. Somebody who she may have put the tower on with that person <clears throat> because that person was too much of a burden. And maybe she let that person go. But this person is trying to manifest her to be confused in her thoughts, in her mind. So she does not think of this person. Perhaps to move on with whoever this is, this person, whoever this fool is. Trying to manifest her to not think of him anymore because he wants her to think about him, this whoever this person is. Hmm. A person that maybe this is maybe this is why this is in the reverse ace of rods. No passionate beginning there. Why? Because she doesn't want a passionate beginning with a particular person. That's why she's make has to make a choice. Because if she has to make a choice between this person and another, who's that other person? Especially if there's no one in her environment. It's the other another ex, most likely. That's how I'm taking it. And if, if you are watching this other ex, just know this will come to you. Like rubber, like glue and all that stuff, it's going to bounce off me and stick on you. Let me get one more card for her side on who is doing this to her. Someone that she's not waiting for ships to come in with. Hmm. You think you're smooth, huh? Well, you're not. You're not smooth at all, Mr. Whoever you are, which we probably all know in our own stories who this is. So that's basically what's happening. Someone's trying to fuck with her head subconsciously at night in her sleep to confuse her into not thinking about the person she really wants even though this person is trying to heal, but he also has people on his side trying to prevent this too. So there's evil on both sides. Gosh, you evil people should just get together and leave these two people alone. And then everybody can be happy, right? But no, can't do that, right? So after all of that, sorry it took so long, you guys, but we finally figured it out. <laughs> he still loves her. She loves him. She just didn't know that somebody was trying to manifest confusion in her life, negativity in her thoughts at night, 
to get her to stop thinking about this person and make a choice to either choose him or whoever this guy is over here, this other guy. But you know what? We're keen to that now. I have a special surprise. I have past life cards, past life oracle cards. So I thought that I would pull one card for him and one card for her just to see, you know, give us an idea of their each of their past lives, of, you know, uh, you know what may have been issues in the past that have been brought into this life. So I've already pre-shuffled them. I'm going to shuffle them one more time. With these cards, I'm going to do just like I do the Wisdom uh, Buddha cards. I'm going to shuffle it one more one time. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it into three. One, two, three. Then I'm going to put them all back together. Okay. And then I'm going to split them in two halves. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to do like this and then like this. And this is going to tell us possibly, hopefully, about their past lives. I don't know if I put it on the right side, so we'll see right now. This for her side. Father issues. Sounds right. This side. Vows. Hmm. Let's find out what these issues are for each of their sides. They both sound right to me, you guys. Let's see what Vows says for his. Oh my god, it opened right to the page. <laughs> You drew this card because the vows that you took in prior lifetimes are blocking you in this one. Most likely you were a monk or a nun when you, when you made these vows, which still continue to haunt you. Common examples may include the vow of poverty, self-denial, which could block your flow of abundance, a vow of chastity, huh, which can inhibit your romantic or sexual life in the present or a vow of self-punishment which can lead you to sabotage or hurt yourself. So you made vows in the past. Okay, look. Unless vows are severed, they can affect you across time. Fortunately, vows are very easy to undo. It's simply a matter of firmly stating, I am willing to sever all vows that are blocking me in this lifetime. I ask that all aspects of painful vows be now and forever undone in the direction of all time for everyone concerned. By saying this either aloud or silently, you will help heal the bondage of the past and open yourself up to present day joy and abundance in all forms. You know what, you guys? I'm going to be straight. I have told somebody that I know, a male person, that I have seen because he won't look me, he will not look me in the eye. I have to force him to. I have to say, hey, look me in the eye, or he won't. Because I think he knows what I see in him, no one else does. Or maybe they do, and they don't want these things for him, right? Now, the things I have said is I see a great person in there. I see somebody who can have anything he wants, who can be loved, who can be cherished. I see potential in you. And maybe other people do too, but they're making him feel less than that stuff. Like he is none of that stuff. Like he's a loser, that he's never going to do good in his life, blah, 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 blah. And I know that these people are telling him that and trying to keep him in that mentality. And this is why he is being caught up because these people may have been brought to him from past lives, evil people, to follow him around in his several lives to keep him stuck in this. And that's why this vows card came out. Because he does not know that he can sever all of these negative entities and ties he has with the past. He doesn't know that. Because what I saw in him are none of these bad things. Okay? I see the good in him. But for some reason, he never believed me, believes me when I tell him this. Because possibly things aren't going his way, blah, blah, blah. But that's because people are keeping him there. Evil, negative people. Let's see what the father one is. 
You guys, this is really, you know, oh, right to the page. <laughs> All right. This card indicates that your father in this life was with you in prior lifetimes. Any issues you've had with your father life likely began long ago. Look into the cards that you draw prior to and after this card. I'm only going to draw one card, okay? Um, because I already know I have father issues. I just didn't realize it was from past lives. So I'm just going to keep reading. Um, not that I'm she, but I'm just saying, <laughs> okay? Um, look at the cards that you drew prior and after this card. They will yield clues about this previous lives you had uh, you two shared. He may not have been your father in those lives, though as souls continue to reincarnate together in different roles. To break any negative patterns with your father's soul, be willing to release old anger or unforgiveness. This can be conscious or subconscious emotional energy stored in your psyche. Just your willingness to clear toxic relationship energy is enough to initiate the healing process. Remember that forgiveness doesn't mean that you approve of this person's actions. It simply means that you no longer will carry around anger energy. By releasing the past, you subsequently heal your present and future. If you totally forgive your father and yourself, you no longer have to reincarnate with that soul unless you choose to. You retain only the lessons, growth, and love you shared as an, addition, an added benefit. The healing work that you do with your father helps all of the relationships you have with men. Okay. I have already released those issues, okay, because I didn't need these cards to figure out that I had father issues. I've known this since I actually, okay, I don't like to put myself in a category, okay, but I have known this ever since I met my twin flame soulmate, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people don't believe it, whatever. I believe it. I didn't at first, okay, but too many synchronicities, too many weird things. But as soon as I met this person and realized things were going wrong in my life, I started getting these epiphanies about my dad, about why I did this and, and why I even met with this person because I've been a tomboy my whole life. But then right before I met him, I started turning a little girly because I had a friend that I met with that just kind of threw dresses in my face and say, wear this, do this, do that. And I was like, hey, I kind of like this. Okay. And then I would think to myself, why the hell was I such a tomboy my whole life? And I realized it was because I was always in competition for my father's love because it seemed that he only cared about my brothers more than me because he's a, he's a really big um, chauvinist. OK, women should be in the kitchen. Women should be in the bed. Women should be having children. Women should be cleaning the house. So I realized that through my lifetime, I've been doing things to try to please my father. OK, I joined the Navy. I became a firefighter. What girl wants to do that to make her dad proud? Was he? No, he could care less. OK, I got married, had a kid. I had issues with that. Whose side did he take? My exes, not even mine. So I knew that, I mean, there were some serious issues. There were some serious issues. And then, you know, God rest his soul, you know, even though he's probably with me, my brother died. And then I decided to go to my dad and discuss this with him. And I got this epiphany that it was like, you know what, it's your, I mean, I can't be blaming my dad, but if my dad was more open with us and spoke with us clearly and didn't put us down all the time or talk crap about us, my brother might be here now, okay, because my, I feel like my brother couldn't even go to my dad for help when he needed it because he was so ashamed of himself because my dad made us feel shameful, okay. Just like I had an issue borrowing anything from my dad, because if I did, he'd look down on me like I'm a loser if I want to borrow money or whatever from him. So it's like I never wanted to do that. So I suffered most of the time. So I already know about my issue, 
but many of you out there might not, okay? And if this is your story, comment below because maybe I can assist you on getting through that, okay? But I already know I have forgiven my father. And the reason why I've decided to do that is because when you hit a certain age, you just can't change anymore. Okay, you can't change, you can't change a person. You really can't change a person at all. You might be able to mention things to them to make them understand something, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to change. Okay, so I have forgiven my dad because I know that his childhood might have been bad. And this is why he holds back his emotions and he cannot express himself. So I forgive him because of his situation. And that's how I was able to forgive my dad. Okay. I've been able to go to him and try to speak to him, whether he likes to hear it or not. I'm going to tell him and I do, but I have forgiven him. I haven't forgiven what he's done to me or what I've experienced in my life, but I forgive him for sure. Okay. And this is most likely why, like the card said, all my relationships throughout my whole lifetime have just been in the dumps, just been because I just, I haven't been able to deal with that until this person came along. And then all of these things started happening. I, I was never religious. Now I'm all Miss Religious America, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what to call it, okay? I, I'm not into the Bible, but I am very much into spirituality, and I do believe in God, okay? And I do believe in spirit guides and all that stuff, but I never was before, okay? So this person actually did change my life. He changed my life for the better, is what he doesn't realize. But, you know, I do often get sad about situations because I'm wondering. I Sometimes I feel like, why am I being punished? You know, why did I have to go through all this with this person? But I realize it's because of life lessons. Okay. And now I'm able to forgive, like, everybody. I can forgive everybody and anybody for anything now because I understand now. And I understand how life plays out. Okay. I have really bad connections with my family, even though I've went to them, helped them, did whatever I could to straighten things out, try to bring love back into the family. They're just not having it, you know, but I can't waste my life trying to do that. But I've forgiven them and I will always forgive, you know, and this is a possibility why a lot of people just, they don't like my light shining because I'm able to forgive. Okay. Anyhow. I'm sorry, you guys, so long, but I got, had, I don't know, this just brought out a lot in me. And, you know, especially since I know someone's doing some evil. <laughs> and I know who, I know on my side, I, I think I know who it is. And on your side, I hope you know who it is, too. So, whew, I'm all winded now. We're going to find out from Buddha. We're going to find out what kind of wisdom Buddha has for us in regards to this reading, this he, she reading. Okay, I'm going to split the cards exactly how I did those top five cards. <sighs> all I have to do, all I have to say is a thank you, spirit guys. Thank you, God, for being here with me today. All right, I'm going to split this in three. Uh... Then I'm going to split this in half and pull one card for him and one card for her. This is for him. And this is for her. Boom. Wow. See, I knew it. That infant mesh comes out all the time in the readings because, you know, we all need healing. And I, you know what? When I was explaining this stuff to you and about the forgiveness and blocking my relationships, that is who popped into my head, infant Ganesh. Okay, first we're going to start, we're going to talk about his side. This is Vaj, oh my gosh, this is Vajrak, Vajrak Kilaya, okay, the magician, very nice. What you identify with becomes who you are. Did I not just tell you about that? Did, oh my God, I got chills again. Did I not just tell you that somebody, you know, these people, they identify him as just like, but I think he's coming into his own power. This is why I know that somebody's messing with this side, because this side is supposed to be healing and doing well and moving forward and blah, 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 but it's not. 
Maybe in waking life she is, but not at night. Remember all those night energy cards we got? <clears throat> oh my God, you guys. So right here, and look, master number 33 on that, if you will. Thank you very much. So this person is coming into his magician, his inner magician. So he's starting to realize, <clears throat> or you or him, or whoever he is, if you're watching this, you're starting to realize that you are the magician. Okay? You know that you can manifest good things in your life. Because maybe somebody has told you, wink, wink, okay, that you are not all these bad things, that you are something great. Because somebody believes in you. Because they see it in your eyes when you allow them to look into them. Right? <sighs> So I want you, if you are this person, this guy on this side, this, you know, he, him, <laughs> remember that person in your life who told you all those great things that you absolutely are. That's who you need to identify with as yourself. Forget about the old people telling you you're never going to make it. You're never going to do this. You're never going to do that. Remember the people who tell you that you are you have potential, that you're a good person, and that you deserve to be loved. Okay? Whatever that person told you, believe that person. Don't believe the negative people because that's not who you are. You are not that person. And I think this person has told you that too, that you are not these negative things. You are not that person. You don't belong in that lifestyle. And somebody saw that in you, but you did not believe them. I think you can now. I think you are now. Believe that you are that good person that deserves everything, abundance, happiness, joy, and love. I know I'm getting all bent out of shape and abrasive and all, but it's like, dang, somebody told you this before. Why? Because they are also intuitive just like you. Only I think that you are just slightly more, but you still don't see that either. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I mean, I, I would love to be more than you, but I don't think it is. In my situation, I think my masculine is more intuitive than I am, more psychic than I am. <clears throat> he just doesn't see it yet. Anyhow, let's look on this side for us, her, you know, her sides, all of us girls. The infant Ganesh, remover of obstacles. Call on Ganesh to remove obstacles in your life. Okay, girls, all we got to do is we got to focus before bed tonight. Um, whenever you see this, that night, before you go to bed, before you close your eyes and knock out, ask the infant Ganesh to help you remove the blockages. Pray to the infant Ganesh. Pray to your angels and spirit guides, okay? They also are there to help. But infant Ganesh got some kind of magical something going on with, with, um, with him. So I like to include him in the mix for sure, okay? And I'm going to do that tonight for sure for me, okay? Because not only because of this reading, but because, you know, sometimes when I'm feeling like I've slowed down on things or... I can't come up with good ideas because I'm trying to work on projects for my business and all kinds of stuff. It's hard to do that. And so when that comes along, I totally think of infant Ganesh. Like this person is part of my spirit world now. Has been for the past, what, like two weeks. I've been asking the infant Ganesh on certain days that I'm feeling blocked. Totally ask him, whoever him, he, she, whoever this deity is, I ask them to please help me remove my blockages. I swear to you guys, later on that, uh, or the next day, I feel like, I feel like a little lighter, you know, I feel lighter and I feel like I, some ideas are starting to flow, not completely because maybe I have a big block, but some of it's being taken off. Okay. And that's how I feel about that. You know, I totally believe in this infant Ganesh and, um, I already realized the father issues. Why? Because most of us 
on this side, we're already been mostly healed, right? This is why it was so confusing to me because, you know, why is all this bad stuff happening on this side? Because in waking life, I feel fine until it came to me because of my beautiful, wonderful spirit guides that somebody is meddling. They're meddling with our minds, trying to make us think that things are not good, trying to subconsciously fuck our brains. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean to say it like that, but it kind of makes me a little angry. Okay, this is for 18 and over anyway, so I mean, hey, I have a right to do that sometimes. We all get mad and angry, especially when people are messing with us, okay? Please excuse my French, you guys. I feel bad about saying that, but hey, you know? Just breathe, Mona. Just breathe, right? All right. I do feel better because I did get this out, and now I understand what's going on. Hopefully, you guys will also understand. I have a couple of subscribers there that I kind of, I think I connect very well with. So, girls, I hope you see this, too, and I hope you're realizing it, too, that, you know, we can move past this. Somebody's messing with us. Don't let it happen, okay? Ask the infant Ganesh for, um, to help you to uh, release these blockages. You're going to see, you're going to feel a little, bit, uh, a little bit lighter, a little bit happier, light on your feet, whatever, more ideas. You're going to feel that, and it's going to be great for us. Okay, you guys? <clears throat> so please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video, especially share, because you know what? This is a big message for some people out there, mostly for the gals, okay? So if you, you gals see this, try to send it to other ladies that you know who might be going through something. This might help them. Okay, and you know, guys too, I guess, um, we can see maybe uh, this can help them because I think they're, but they're, I think they're on a healing path right now and I think they're kind of catching on themselves. Um, but uh, yeah, go ahead and share it. But um, comment below and let me know if this is resonating with you guys. I want to know if it is and if it's not just resonating with me alone. And um, yeah, subscribe so you can get my next um, readings. I haven't done a he, she in a while, so, you know, this is it. And I might do one in a couple days just to see where we're at. Hopefully those blockages have been removed. And, um, yeah, I'm sending out love and power and strength to everybody, okay? Because we got it, and we can do this, and we can move forward and be happy, all right? We don't need anybody blocking us because we don't deserve that. We deserve abundance and happiness and joy in our lives. We deserve love. This is Mona. You found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye.